The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. We continue on the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier alongside <clears throat> Coach Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck did it with elite rebounding on the road. Yep. More than 50 yep. boards, crashed the offensive glass in a pretty heady way. Uh, to make up for somewhat of an off shooting night, 43% still fairly respectable. What did you see from your team to get to uh, 20 wins for the fourth time in your coaching career here at Carson Newman? Uh, well, we knew this was going to be a challenge, and, 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 and uh, this was senior night for them. So, uh, you know, there was a lot of people really motivated and excited about, about uh, the chances tonight. Um, the other reason why you could tell, like, we, we, we've, we've, got, we've got a little of the, the crud going around. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what, what everybody's got, but three or four of them have got something. And so uh, I, for, for, from probably the 16-minute mark of the first half on, it was like we were always just had our feet in mud. Uh, so we're, we're going to spend the next couple of days getting, getting healthy and refreshed and, and prepared as we, we, we close out this regular season. But uh, credit to our guys for hanging in there. They, they did a good job um, limiting uh, – uh, the threes for our opponent, which was something that we wanted to try to do today in particular. We rebounded the ball well. Uh, we didn't have uh, a really high turnover night, a three to one assist turnover ratio. And then, like you said, we had some, we had some guys step and put put points on the board. Jack, Nick, John, and in, 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 you know, in particular, Ben added some 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 really nice value We're in. Uh, he's six a dog, and he he had nine boards in, in in typical dire fashion. So really pleased for for what our guys showed. Uh, a, a game where. Uh, you threw a pretty big punch early, went, up, went on an 11-2 run, went up double digits, and pretty much maintained it until Wise hit you with a 15-3 run in the second half. You didn't call timeout during that spurt, and I want to focus on that. Uh, they scored, It was a 15-3 run, but they scored 13 in a row. Uh, it was the top scores. It was the individual scoring them, and there was nothing to be said. They, they, they were, that, was, uh, that, that was part of the enticement. Uh, they took the bait, and we were happy with it. Uh, break down the team's response, though. After that 15-3 uh, run, you rattle or 16-3 yeah. run, you rattle off a 15. We kept great. We own. kept great poise. The guys knew what our strategies were, and, and they knew what we were willing to live with. Uh, uh, and and in particular, like who who we wanted, who we were hoping would shoot it for them, and and so our guys never hit panic. Um, we we just sort of held held the course, thinking that that, that the numbers uh, w w would sort of come back our way as. as as my, my trusty assistant KT says, water finds level. And so we just sort of waited it out. Uh, <clears throat> Jack Browder and Nick Brennigan were sublime tonight. Jack gets his ninth double-double uh, with 25 and 10. Nick, 26, and he resets the single-season record for threes uh, made and yep. now sits at uh, 103 for, for this his junior season. Uh, let's focus on Jack first. Uh, what did he do to be successful tonight? Well, I mean, Jack, Jack, Jack had his, his, his former high school coach here. And so I, I know how Jack is, man. Jack, Jack wants to, to impress those that he respects, and he respects, his, he respects Coach Poor in a big-time way. And when I saw with Coach Poor, I thought this could be – I really – I saw him, I thought, hmm, this could be really nice. I know Jack's getting ready to get really excited, <laughs> and he did from the get-go. Um, but then he, he did it for, for, for the, the 40 minutes. We had him out there with 35 and a half minutes, and he, he, he performed, man. And, I, and I'm, I, I'm at the point now where I, there, I, it's so commonplace for Jack to, 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 to stuff the stat sheet that, that it sort of I, almost, I probably take it for granted. Nick, 103, well, what do you have to say about him? Hey, you know, I mean, uh, he, he, is, he is the textbook example of, of, of you put the work in, uh, uh, and, and you give yourself a chance to reap the reward. And uh, he's respected uh, through this program by his peers and by our, his, his coaching staff. He's now done something that nobody else has done in the history of this program. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm just not shocked. Yeah. I, my, my mouth didn't hit the floor. I, I, <laughs> he's doing things that I know he's capable of doing, uh, despite the fact that every time we play, opponents are trying to – to minimize his his production, and he still works hard to get open, and our his teammates work to help him get open. And you know, Trey Trey Hubbard does a great job of finding him for a shot, uh, a make or two every game uh, with, with with bullet passes. So 
I'm just I'm happy for, for Nick and, and for the Brennigan family. Usman Ja, new career high with 10 rebounds. You touched on the rebounding as a team. Uh, how about the job of your junior transfer getting on the glass like yeah. he's never done before? <clears throat> yeah, I, we needed that today. We needed it today because we needed to minimize seconds. We needed to generate uh, opportunities for ourselves in transition. And, 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 he, and he, he helped him on both ends of the court with that. He, he, defend, he defensive rebounded, he offense rebounded. And, uh, you know, it, that, that's, that's one of those things that, you know, it, it's not quite as, 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 as uh, maybe exciting as a Nick Brennigan three, but, but when you look back at, at, at the factors that lead to winning, uh, rebounding is one of those factors that, that, that allow you to win games. And so when Usman does that for us, he, he's a huge part of the, uh, the outcome. Turn your attention to a matchup with Limestone on Saturday. How do you improve upon this one for your final road game of uh, the 2023-24 season? Simply, but we got to get we got to get it. We got to get some. Uh, we got to get hydrated. We got to get fueled. We got some meds in us. We got to take. Uh, we got we got to rest a little bit. At this point in the year, it's not about practice. At this point in the year, it's about it's about trying to be healthy and put your best foot forward. And so, uh, our, our, our agenda these two days is to uh, to get feeling good. So that by the time we get to Saturday. Everybody can, can we can we can ramp it back up. I, our, our entire team. This is the first time this year that we literally like we were in mud, and and we come Saturday we don't need to be standing in mud. All right, Chuck. Pleasure as always. Congrats on the win. Great, thanks, Cap. It's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Domino's post game report rolls on with the new single season record holder for threes, Nick Brennigan. After these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. 